I'm going to take a look at a piece of mail art that I got from non-local variable. So this is the, um, the front, this is the back, it's got a lot of little stickers on it and stamps and rubber stamps. It's very cool. Um, stamps here, things here. A crevicist movement stamp, neoism. So, I'm just going to take a look, take everything out, and look through it. So, let's take a look in here, make sure I got everything. Okay. Well, here's the first thing. And it's a quote from Ken Friedman. And that's pretty cool. This is a Will I Am quote. Quote ticket. There's a little stamp, artist stamp. Year of the Dragon from Keith Bates. So it looks like he's assembled different things from other artists too. I like this a lot. This is the artist ticket, 70% Fluxus. It's kind of like a clothes label. That's also from Keith Bates. I like that. Now this is a little... Uh, Some uh, 35 millimeter, it's like from a contact sheet that's been cut into a slice. Whoops, gotta make sure I have it in focus here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Looks like it's two little pots on a windowsill. Neat. Embrace crevicism? Well, I think I might just have to do that as soon as I figure out what crevicism is and if I am in fact a crevicist. Okay, here's another cool thing. It says crevicist dada experiments. So this looks like a little book. Imitation situation. Oh, very cool stuff. up anymore or if that's it. Well, I think that is it. So I don't think there's anything. Oh wait a minute. Nope. Oops. There's nothing inside. Now this is a stamp from Nonland, last day of issue. It's a remastered artist stamp. And this is another quote by the sticker dude. I think I'm going to read this, even though you can probably read it. Mail art is more than just image bearing mail passing along in the mail stream. It is a person to person attempt to redefine our cultural heritage, the very way we see and think and feel about the world around us. It represents a new way of relating to one another and creating our own culture. By minimizing the aesthetic and material trappings of the market economy and the commercial art world, working with and when necessary against the grain of both popular and high culture, maximizing our collective human souls. Oh, I like that. It's a good quote. Now this is a little story, I think, which I haven't read yet. And this looks like almost like a Semic writing. And it says Crevicist Press. That's cool. Now, what are these? These just look like 
pieces of uh, newsprint. I'm not sure what that is. This just could be some things that I can use to make mail art with. Here is an end art stamp, which I like. Oh, the famous Fluxus Bucks. Okay. It says Fluxus Bucks, no value, useless, worthless, insignificant. Cake is not worth the candles. No gold here. This buck will make you as happy as a dead pig in the sunshine. So, I mean, that's probably what you were thinking anyway. This has some different male artist names on here. Okay, so maybe that's like an add and pass. Maybe I can add something to it and then put my name and address on here and pass it on. Here's a postcard. Pretty nice. Here's another piece of mail art. What are we doing here? And then it says Grok. Art strike questions. Very cool. I'm going to pause this for a minute. Sometimes I have to do this to just make sure that so I can edit these that my little video clips aren't too long. Now this looks like a little mail art magazine. It looks like it's numbered um, 10 of 20, non local variable. Kind of look through this. More collage pages. This is nice. This is all in color. Not sure how it's printed, if it's printed on a computer or something else. For a while, people were doing color Xeroxes, although that's not really what this looks like. just be printed in a printer, just a regular printer. Crevices Press, okay. And here's a, a crevices aptitude test. Maybe I'll we'll take this test. I don't, un <laughs> I don't understand the play. No one is in control. It's coming for all of us. I exist in flux. The euphoria of disobedience. Non-neoists created the neoists. Trembling on the brink. Risible targets for arrows of derision. I understand the seven by nine squares. Kurgan males ruined the world in an inevitable unscheduled departure. Well, I didn't actually check these off, so I can't. But there's the, there's how you score. Oh, and there is a crevices manifesto. I'm going to have to check into that. And there's a link to it. Getting down to the last piece, I think. Oh, wow. This is nice. New to the weird. Marcel Duchamp wore fur. Herbert Marcuse was a herbivore. Jesse Helms eats bugs. And Ray Johnson dropped a bunny. And that is the last piece. So all of this massive amounts of fun mail art came in this envelope. And thank you to Non-Local Variable. And thanks for watching the video.